<laughs> Yours as well. Okay, so okay. now you're helping us to I can extend. I rainbow. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm keep calling on the rainbow boxes, by the way. You are getting, I think, the best way, the most affordable way, a portable way to do what they do in the coffee shops, in the grocery stores. That cordless vacuum's way. Cordless way. $19. That is the lowest price I've ever seen I on this. I believe so. I mean, $19.95, that flex pay of less than $10. Good grief, you'd spend, what, 10 bucks on the batteries, oh. for crying out loud. So the batteries, the bags, you get the machine. Oh, and by the way, and I know my producer, Daryl, will show this to you, get extra bags. They're in stock. They, we, that's I know. the first thing we go through I know, because the first thing I asked Debbie when we met before the show was, like, are the bags back? Because a lot of times we'll, we'll offer this, yes. and the bags aren't, you know, yes. so you the need the bags. bags. The bags in gallons and in quarts are available now, so... If you need them, please get them. And it's a wise idea to pick up extras when you're purchasing this. Okay, in the first and you know what? Get both for yeah. crying out loud. You'll use yeah. both you sizes for Absolutely. heaven's sake. Yeah, you'll for find sure. so many ways to use it. It's ridiculous. You will. Here, this is the this is the unit itself. This is a Debbie Meyer Genius Fact. It fits in my hand. It operates with the push of one button. That's the sealer right there. There are no tubes. There's nothing to attach. There's no machine runs on batteries. It is a strong, strong machine. What does it do? It, see, it vacuum seals everything just the way you would see it commercially done. Yep. They're vacuum sealed. Vacuum sealed foods means the air is removed from the packaging. It is safe then to freeze it. If you freeze anything without vacuum sealing it first, you're only inviting problems because yeah, no you are. air is trapped in that container. I don't care if you seal up that container, yeah. if air is inside of it, you've got trouble. Right. And let's show you what that means, because I'm going to go to the freezer quickly. This is about money also. I'm the girl who's fresh in your, in your refrigerator, fresh on your countertop, fresh in your pantry. I'm now fresh in your freezer, because you have all done this. You've thrown in a package oh, of steak. You bet we have. That was steak. Yeah, right. You oh, see that on top? Look at that. That's sake. not that's not just ice on top. Oh, what that man. is is the moisture from the meat. Freezer burn is actually a molecular change of the protein. Oh, oh, I don't think I that. Cuz what it does Cold air, think chapped hands. Cold oh, air yes, draws yes, the moisture yes. out you're right. and it's dry and leathery. Well, we are alive, so you can actually put moisture back into your hands sure. with moisturizer. This moisture is gone forever. You will never get the moisture back into the meat. So instead, if you were to vacuum seal using my Genius Vac and Genius Vac bags, I'm going to turn around. You can't see the colors on here very well. Oh, but wow. You have got uh, vacuum sealed meat that is the meat you put in it. Because the air was gone, it didn't oxidize, it didn't change, and it didn't freeze or burn. That is real money thrown away. Same thing with bags of chicken. We buy bags of chicken breasts, they've already got frost in it. Yeah. You know what that frost is? That's all the moisture that was in the meat. Because this bag had air in it. Yep. If you throw anything in the freezer, I don't care if you seal it, I don't care if you cook it, I don't care what yeah. you do to it, if there's air in the packaging, there is going right. to be freezer burn. It's yeah. as simple as that. So instead of that chicken, you've got this chicken. That's a whole that's a whole tray of chicken. Now you can do it individually. You can freeze it in all kinds of ways that make sense to you. Instead of instead of wasting a whole fish like that's this. That's sad. Look at that compared to that. I know. And you know what? I can't read the exact price on that salmon. I can oh. pretty much promise you it was more than $19.95. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Debbie's like, look at oh, oh, yeah. Yes. So oh, yes. you consider so that. I mean, you, you th otherwise you're throwing that, that merchandise away, basically. I actually also make smoothie packs. Oh, so that's that a great idea. Everybody puts in what they like. I yeah. Can, I can make one for everybody in the morning. I take that out. Oh, good throw idea. Throw it in the blender, and you get a nice thick Oh, I'm doing yeah. that. That's get a, a nice great thick idea. So come on over here, and let's show you how it works, okay. because you're Boy. asking me, does this work? Is yeah. this strong? See, it looks so small yes. and so compact, and you think. so easy to use. Come on, right? All, right. All you're going to do is attach that circle to the circle on the bag. Yeah. The bag is, there's the valve, it's flat. Here's the circle on the machine. You put one to the other and push the button. Yes. Now, my bags, first of all, have a zip seal top, so you can open and close them. Yeah. You can take something out to sure. put more in. This, and I want to move that over so you can see this. So I'm going to show you strength first, and then I'm going to show that to you by crushing a can. Now, nobody is going to do this at home. But you could if you wanted. You could if you wanted to. Come on. There's a lot of air in the can. There it goes. You had to draw the air right, out of the exactly. can first. But what? Look. 
Nice. All right, we could turn that into a post-it stamp if we wanted to. <laughs> you could. Now, you don't need to do that at home, but what you need to know that it's strong enough to do that. Yeah. But what you do need is control. And so, like, oh, I don't want my yes. I don't want my strawberries to get mushed up. No, you don't want strawberry jam. You no, want strawberries, exactly. you know? Exactly. So all I'm doing is circle to circle. Yeah. And sometimes you might have to jiggle a little, but that's yeah. okay. I know. Just because you'll see it start to work. Right. And it's so easy once it gets once so you find a spot. Control. We'll see. And what oh, I yeah, love about this. One, two, three, go. Oh, wow. Done. That is vacuum nice. sealed. That goes in the freezer and it stays perfectly fresh. It does. But you know, I, years ago I bought one of those. Remember when the big sealers came out oh, and gosh. they were they were like They're almost three hundred dollars. It, it, it was, but it did not have that kind of control. No. So I couldn't do things like strawberries or produce. You know, I mean, we crush it, everything. We would crush yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. So let, let bulk shopping. All right. Now this big tray of chicken over here. This is how you save money buying yes. chicken. Yep. Now there are only two people in my house. I still right. buy like this. Yeah. Because what Smart. I do is I package them separately. So like one day, I want chicken, but my husband wants a, wants a steak. Yeah. So I go to the freezer and I get a chicken and a steak that are right. perfectly fresh. Yep. I don't have to try and take a chisel and defrost right. it. Right? But this thing, if I put this in the freezer the way it is, I've wasted everything there. Sure I've enough. wasted all that money. So I vacuum seal each one of these things, and it goes so quickly. You hear oh, that, that sound? Is so cool. You can hear the car, you can hear the air coming out. Yeah. Fishermen love this item. They take it with them on boats. They do actually. And they actually do the gutting and the cleaning in on the boat. Throw right. the guts overboard. Yep. And you bring home fillets. Isn't that crazy? And, then, and your wife is always so happy. It's it? true. <laughs> so you just seal it up. They seal this up and throw it in a cooler. Yeah. And they've got fish that's all ready to go into the freezer. This is all. I actually that is was, so was smart. already um, packaged. How do you keep hot dogs fresh once you open up that package? Oh. Oh, man. You can't. You can't. So, it's true. So I seal them back into one of these bags, and when I want a hot dog, I open it up, take awesome. out a hot dog, I put, close it back up when I'm finished taking out what I want, and reseal. Yeah. Your kids can do this. This yep. is so, in fact, they love doing it. My grandson loves doing this. This is very good. But even things like if you get bulk cheese or deli ham. You know what I didn't make? Let me, yep. let me make one good point. You must make sure that the top you, you of the bag see, is right. sealed. <laughs> right. And then you can do the sealing. So here's summer sausage. I like to buy it because we get it in the summer, yeah. right? Yeah. Freeze it. You can Freeze have it, it in the winter time. Yep. We get deals on pizza. We also do that. We'll actually, if there's two for ones on pizza, yeah. we'll get the two for ones, sure. split it up and freeze it so good we idea. can have pizza. Another thing that goes slimy. Oh, so isn't good. that true? Oh my gosh. Keep your bacon in the freezer. That, that's how it's going to stay. Get the air out of there, put your bacon in the freezer, and when you want bacon, you're going to see it moving. When you want bacon, you just open the bag, yeah. peel off a couple, and when they're frozen, they come off really easily. Oh, yeah. Seal it back up and put it in there. So smart. This fits in your kitchen uh, drawer. Right. This fits in your suitcase. I travel with this. Yeah. Because it's so easy. I can take, I take gallon sized bags. I put sure. in wet bathing suits. I put yes. in the kid, if they, my grandchildren get their socks dirty, I get do all right. of that. Why does coffee come like this? Because that's how it stays fresh. Sure. There's no air in there. Nope. It's a brick, right? But when you open that, oh, and by the way, there's a whole dinner. When you open it, it becomes this. Yeah. Okay? So you take out, I put it into one of my bags, make sure the top is sealed. Right. And I reseal, I'm gonna make this a brick again. See the air coming? Oh, for heaven's sake. Right. It's turning into a brick. Okay. Oh, it is. Now, I keep that in my freezer yeah. because it stays fresh. When I'm ready to make coffee in the morning, I take it out. Yep. Whoop, and I like have my coffee again. Every single time. I freeze tortillas because I don't like, I buy a package of tortillas that so will last me forever. Yeah, no kidding, right? I freeze most of them. I put half of them in one of my green boxes and yeah. the other half I, I rack seal and freeze. Your beans, you want summer corn in the middle of winter? This is how you yeah. do it. Whether you, oh, this I love because when I was a kid, my mother always had a box of brick. Of yes, <laughs> isn't that brown true? Sugar. Okay, it's a brick because there's no air in it. No. Now I want to turn it back into brown sugar. Voila. It's oh, that is brown. so smart. Isn't that a great idea? See, that's just it. I mean, you're not even limited to your produce. I mean, oh, you could no. seal your hurricane Absolutely. kit. I mean, oh, that's what we have in this. Seriously. Table. So here's my trail mix. I'm not traveling with this. No. But I'm traveling with this. Nope. This is what you're getting. You're getting five of the uh, quart bags, five of the gallon.